Hi, my name is Kay Anderson. I'm here at Orbital ATK with Katie Kwan, who is a rocket scientist, and hey. she's going to answer some questions for us today. Katie, tell us the significance of this area and what it means for the NGL program. Yeah, Kay, we are standing at our Promontory Utah facility, and this is where we manufacture the Common Boost stage motor for our next generation launch system, or the NGL. Okay. Yeah, and the NGL is uh, a rocket that we're developing for the Air Force in the EELV program, the Evolvable Expendable Launch Vehicle Program. It's one of the largest rockets that we've ever designed and developed, so we're pretty excited to be working with the Air Force on it, and, and I can't wait to see it come to life and a test. Yeah, yeah. yeah that'll be super awesome. So what exactly is the NGL, and what's it supposed to do? The NGL is actually a, a family of rockets, which means that there's a lot of commonality between the different rocket configuration. And what that allows us to do is be a little bit more flexible than a traditional point design solution. And so that also translates to being a little bit more affordable. Okay. Um, it's intended to launch space uh, satellites um, into space for our various customers. Those customers might be national security or NASA or commercial payloads. Uh, right now, some of the payloads that are out there are a little too large for our existing launch vehicles, like the Minotaur and the Pegasus. Okay. So we're really excited to bring this really large, powerful new capability into the market. Very cool. Yeah. So tell us, what will it take to get this rocket ready to fly? Well, as you can see, we've actually invested quite a bit of internal funding um, and investment already to get this capability up and demonstrated. And that's so that we're, we can be ready when our customers need us to fly. Um, we've got about 200 people working on the program right now, and we're expecting 600 or more to start in the next 24 months, and we'll plan to fly in about three years. Wow, very cool. So yeah. you're going to fly in three years. Yeah. You're building hardware now. Yeah. They can come out and kick the tires. Yes, they can. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else you'd like us to know about Orbital ATK? Yeah, I mean, Orbital ATK has a significant history of, of making and launching rockets, of course. And mm -hmm. uh, in fact, over the last 20 years, we've launched on average 14 flight systems every year. Wow. Everything from space launch to missile defense. Um, and they each are a little bit unique and complex with their own set of requirements and objectives. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're really experienced at, at doing that. And this rocket is going to leverage that same proven flight history that we've demonstrated on the other ones. So we're really confident that it's going to meet everything that the EVLV program is going to want. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So I do have one more question. Okay. What are you going to call this rocket? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, but we are going to probably announce it soon and I'm sure it's going to be a wicked name. Awesome. Yeah. Can't wait to hear it. Thank Thanks. you.